All right, let's look at another composition study. We see that from first glance that everything looks quite uh, stiff, or at least it looks stiff. You might not know how everything in here will move around and lead your eye. Well, I'm about to show you, so let's buckle our straps and begin with the child who's holding the hay stack right here. So this child, let me just lower the opacity and begin. Okay, so you see this child, she's, or he, whatever, is holding the stack of hay. So I'm going to go ahead and, and brush in the general gesture of this child. And so you can see the stack of hay or the bundle of hay he is holding. And this hay is pointing up over here. Okay, so this stack of hay is pointing this direction. We know now that everything we're going to draw up to now is going to point our eye this way, up on the right side. So obviously this as we go up, all will lead back to a central focus, so we all know that these two women in the middle is the central focus. But to make sense of this, everything has to point back to the central focus to make it move. So this lamb, how does this lamb point back? I mean, this lamb is just sitting down here, and it's minding its own business. How does it point back to the central focus? Well, you see here, this lamb, the back here, its placement is important. The placement is what you should be looking at here. You see the back of this lamb, its force energy is pushing back to the women in the middle. Now you see this lion, it's quite awkwardly, you know, placed in, but obviously it's placed that way because our eye is moving up in the same direction. So this is pointing up, this gesture, its whole entire energy, its movement. You see this child here is placed its gesture real quickly. And from the continuation of the stack of hay, the bundle of hay, uh, you can see that I that this comes off from here and it leads your eye through and up. So we see that it moves up and says so we go up here. You see this pillowing cloud of smoke. This pillowing cloud of smoke pushes our eye up. Now we come to this next child here and so what what's pointing back to the women here yeah, obviously is a little tush is pointing back up to these women you see very subtle but that's what it's doing okay but it's just you're in there also you see this branch here that makes it even more obvious that it's pointing back to the women now we lead our eye we continue up you see this another child here leads our eye through the figure. Now, if you don't know how to do these gestures, that's that's fine. Uh, it's very simple to do. It's very basic. In general, I have another course coming soon, or it, depending on how when you view this video, but it's out very very soon. It will teach you how to do these these gestures. And they're quite fun, quite relaxing, and how you are able to draw from imagination. Okay, anyway, this branch here, you can see, leads and pulls into uh, the women right here. Everything is coming over like a wave. And because it's like a wave, I'm going to put it in blue so it can mimic the you know wave. See, everything is just coming over and just splashing down. Very big energy here, all building up, and it, when it comes up to the point here, it just slams down into the two women. Okay, so we come right back down, and we have another side, and obviously you would think that because this side did the same thing, the other side will do the same thing as well. Yes, you are in fact correct, but what about in the middle here? What's How is that pointing back to the... Uh, main focus of the image. Well, this 
tipped over vase is a big indicator of uh, indication of pointing back to the central focus. You can see this is a giant arrow and you can see the flowers here. This, this is creates just one giant pointing indication shape. And so yeah, this placement is the same thing as these clouds over here. And this points back to the central focus. Okay. All right. So that takes care of the right side. Let's us take care of the left side. We see a, another child here, and he is holding some sort of rod in his hand. I don't know if you can see it, but he is holding a rod in his hand. Uh, let's get me a minute here to get my ruler, and we'll just put this in very quickly. And this is obviously pointing back to the woman wearing the crown. So let's get our gesture here. Okay. Now, you see these two ch children over here. You're going to tell me, okay, so how do these children look back to the central focus? They're just, you're just minding their own business. They're looking at whatever is in their hand. It looks like they're holding some sort of uh, toy boat or something. I don't know what it, they're, they're holding. Resolution's not too high, but they're paying attention to their own selves. How are they pointing back? There's nothing pointing back to them. Well, you'd be wrong. You can obviously see here, or not so obvious, the back of the child here is pointing up, uh, pointing back to the person, the central focus. So the back, always pay attention to the force. The force is a push back to anything that is the main focus, okay? So there's your, there's your push. The wing also makes the same push. And we're going to get their gestures in here real quickly. Okay. Now you see this man here. He's just laying down here. He's chilling. It looks like he's poisoned or something. I don't know what's going on with this dude, but he's just hanging out here. How does he point back? Well, he's laying back down here, and his body moves in the same direction as like one giant shape pointing back to the central focus okay so you can see his head here and you can see his hands here now he's holding this newspaper as you can see it's crushed in his hands this crushed newspaper or whatever it could be a book or something scroll whatever it's pushed into his hands right here and it's sort of like an error indicator so you can think of this as an arrow indicator and it's pointing back in the same direction as we made of the same forceful shape as the vase that's laying right over here. Okay, So that right here also points back to one of the main focuses. Okay, And we have this little thing, this object here. This obviously is a good indication that's pointing back. And you can see that what we have so far is all leading our eye around the image. Okay, so before we continue off here, you can see that there's this object here. Now, notice that we needed objects like this or this to move our eye up. Well, same thing on this side. You see, there's this object here. I'm not sure what it is. It could be a wheel. It could be a spool or something. I don't know. But it's pointing back this way, just like the other side of the image. So we needed at least uh, another object so it can guide and lead our eye around. So this is all careful placement. It's not haphazard placement. It's all careful arrangement of the composition so it can lead our eye around these, the great masters are, you know, they're great masters. They're great masters of placement, and that's why we should study them. Okay, so, and uh, now we come over here to this side of this image here. You can see I'm going to push up this arm here, and it pushes up 
into the pillowing smoke clouds. This object here looks like a a tilted, you know, pillar could be a pillar, and it's pushed down this way. Okay, so this is leading our eye up into the image. Now the clouds, the clouds is a pillowing smoke of asymmetrical lines. And what asymmetrical lines are, you know, they're, they're lines that lead your eye from one to the next, like a pinball machine. And this is used heavily in gesture drawing for the basic approach. Okay, so this moves our eye up through, and we come here to this. Again, same pinball effect that we see. You see? this pinball effect, this pillowing smoke comes through and slams or gently leaves off into the crowned woman here in the middle. You can see this dove here in the middle or right where the, the sun is radiating its light. Well, the, the dove is a pointing indicator. Okay, the, it's pointing to the woman here. It's pointing to the central focus. Okay, there's that dove there. Okay, everything is looking quite busy, you see. Now we have this duck here. Hi, Mr. Duck. Okay, how's this duck pointing back to the central focus? Well, if you see here its neck, Point, again, look at that, uh, pushing force, the pushing force, okay, it's pushing, you can see this asymmetry is bouncing and coming in and leading up to this woman right here, this pushing, this neck is pushing back, okay, so I'll just leave that arrow there for your convenience. And we come up to these, this woman, these two women. Okay, so what gestures do we see here? You now this face here makes a whole lot more sense. You can see this leads our eye through, comes around, leads our eye through. You can see this, I'll just put arrows here. It leads our eye through, over, around, can see this force here. This this thing isn't just straight. It's catching the force that was brought off of here, like a you know like a net. So this is just leading our eye through around. You can see that this is pushing, very subtle, but it's pushing to the crowned woman, who has her arm pressed against her shoulder, which is right here. And so that yeah, her shoulder is pushing right here. You can see this just trickles down off of this force, like so. And you can see that this cloud here, you can see this cloud. This cloud is what the woman here is sitting on. She's sitting on this cloud, and this is her perch, not this woman's. So this sort of tells us, this sort of pushes our eye up to this woman right here and then since she's the central focus she's the main star of the show you can see that this flow comes and leads our eye up you can see this leads our eye up into the image here okay that's a lot of energy okay you can see this this cloud it also makes the same energy around into the the focus right here okay and that will finish this image when we remove it you can see all of the energy all of the movement that this whole thing makes here okay